my channel if you're new here I'm Dylan and if you're not thank you for coming back so today's video is going to be my stretching routine so I do the stretching routine at cheer and at home so that's what today's video is now I have filmed one of these before like two months ago but YouTube took it down so I'm making a new one and I'm going to repost it so let's just get right on into it Okay, so we're going to start in just a regular straddle, and I'm going to go over to my right side like this for 10 seconds. Now, staying on my right side, I'm going to do a bow and arrow stretch, so I'm going to take my right arm and put it forward, and then lean over with my left arm and grab my... Okay, now I'm going to do the exact same thing on my left leg, starting with... Left arm forward, right arm over. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the middle, but I'm gonna go more to the right side. So, like, go down to the middle, but go at an angle. And I forgot to mention that, but you're gonna hold that for 10 seconds. Same thing on the left side. Okay, now I'm gonna go straight down the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna go into a pipe position and go down just like this for 10 seconds. And when you're doing this, you want to try to get your elbows and forearms all the way down to the floor with your nose to your legs. Now, I'm just going to grab my feet and pull up for 10 seconds, make, making sure my heels get off the ground. Okay, now we're going to do a butterfly stretch for 10 seconds. Then I'm going to move into like kind of a diamond shape, so I'm just going to scoot my feet out, push my legs down for 5 seconds, and then I'm going to take my hands and go under. Okay, now I'm going to start with my right leg, and I'm just going to do a regular lunge for 10 seconds. Now, whenever I'm doing this, I just try to push my hips to the floor, and you can either put your hands like this, like this, however you feel comfortable, or you can even go down like this. Okay, now I'm just going to lean back to here, and I'm going to do a bow and arrow stretch. Okay. Now, from here, I'm going to sit all the way back onto my back leg, like this, and lean forward for 10 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to go up into like a pyramid, or whatever you want to call it, just like this, and reach back as far as we can go. Now we're going to go into our split, but keeping our back foot flexed and our knee off the floor. Now we can put that foot back down, and then we're going to bend our front leg, not to where we're like in a lunge, but just enough to where our hips can still go all the way down. Okay, now I'm going to do just rock back and forth five times, just like this, with my hand, with one hand on e either side of my leg. Now I'm going to go down and reach for my foot and do five more rocks. Okay, now I'm going to do another bow and arrow stretch. So this is my right leg, so I'm going to take my right arm, reach it forward, and then take my left arm and reach it over down. Okay, now, <coughs> now I'm going to reach back onto my back leg, and you can either reach back just like that, or you can take your front arm, reach back your back arm, or both arms. So I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to bend my front leg, just like this, and then I'm going to bend my back leg, and I'm going to take my, this is my left leg, so I'm going to take my left arm, grab like this, and then go back as far as I can. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to do the exact same thing on my other leg. Lunge for 10 seconds, lean back, and do a bow and arrow stretch for 10 seconds. Then I'm going to lean all the way back onto my back leg and lean forward for 10 seconds. Okay, now we're going to go into our pyramid and reach back as far as we can go. Then we're going to slide into our split, keeping our back foot flexed and our knee off the floor. Then we're going to put that foot down and bend our front leg, still keeping our hips on. Then we're going to put that leg back down. And we're just going to do five rocks back and forth with one hand on each either side of my leg. Okay, 
Now I'm going to reach down to my front leg and do five rocks. Okay, now I'm going to do a bow and arrow stretch. So this is my left leg, so I'm going to put my left arm forward and reach my right arm over and grab my foot. Okay, now I'm going to lean back. This is my bad leg, so I'm just going to do one hand on either side and lean back. Okay, now I'm going to bend my front leg or my front knee, whatever you call it. And then bend my back leg, and this is my right leg, so I'm going to take my right arm or hand, put my hand like that, and lean back as far as I can go. Okay, now I'm just going to do my middle splits. And whenever you do middle splits, make sure your feet and legs are in line with your head. Okay, now I'm going to do a frog stretch. So I'm just going to go from a middle split and bend my back leg. Make sure my knee is in line with my hip and my knee and foot are at a 90 degree angle. Now I'm going to start stretching out my wrists, shoulders, and arms. So for my wrist, I usually just do basic. Now stretching your shoulders is a very important part whenever you're doing back stretches or trying to do a needle. <coughs> because if, you're, if you don't stretch out your shoulders, then you can't reach back as far. And if they're stretched out, then you can reach back a lot further and be able to grab your foot. Or like whatever. So, now for my shoulders, I'm just going to do... Put my palms to the floor. And then I'll go back. Now I'm going to put the back of my hands to the floor and go all the way down again. Now I'm just going to do these stretches super basic, so across my body, and they're behind my head, and then I usually just kind of grab onto something and just go like this. Now I'm going to do back bends. Okay, now for back bends I'm just going to do a regular back bend. And then I'm going to um, straighten up my legs, arms, and then push through my shoulders. And then I'm going to scoot my hands as close as I can to my feet. And then I'm going to go on my elbows. So you'll see. Okay, now that I'm done with back bends, I'm just going to kind of roll back and forth like this. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to start stretching out my back and front areas and everything like that. Okay, so I'm going to start with like heel stretches and everything. So I'm going to start with my right leg. I usually do, or no, I do this for 10 seconds without putting my leg down. So I'm just going to start in a regular heel stretch, 5 seconds with my arm down and 5 seconds with my arm up. Then I'm going to go to front stretch and then I'm going to pull through and then I'm going to do like this safety pin thing. So let's do that. Now I'm going to do front stretch, now I'm going to do pull through, now I'm going to do the safety pin, now I'm going to do the same thing on my left side. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to start with my back stretching, my back. Okay, so... start by doing just a scale to warm up my back. Okay, now I'm going to do <coughs> kicks like this, and I'm going to do five on each of my legs. Okay, now I'm basically going to do a scale, but with my hand like this, instead of like this. Now I'm going to take my back hand, which is my right hand, and grab my ankle, and then I'm just going to pull it. And since I can't really do that on my right side, I'm just going to do a couple more kicks. Now I'm just going to pull my needle. I just changed into some shorts.
that is pretty much my searching routine. That's basically all I do. So if you guys like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I post new videos. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video.